What's up everybody? Here we are for another Python tutorial. We're going to make another program that's practicing with while loops and it incorporates if statements with the while loops. And it's uh, just kind of a little app where you, it picks a number randomly and then we try to guess it. And it tells us if the number was too low or too high. And then when we're finished uh, and we finally guess the number, it tells us how many guesses that it took. Um, I'm using this PyCharm for my coding now. I started using it a little bit earlier this year and I like it a lot better than Sublime so it'll look a little bit different than some of my other tutorials. So to start this thing off I'm going to use from random import randint. Um, I like to use that a lot for those number guessing apps that we've been making and then I'm going to set a first variable guesses and I'm going to set it equal to one and I'll talk more about that later I'll also make another one another variable for number and it's going to be equal to a random integer between one and a hundred if you want to you could always change this later by you know letting the user pick the range or or making it one of a thousand or between one and a hundred or ten or something but this is what we'll use for right now alright and then I'm gonna make another variable I'll go with guess it's kinda similar to guesses but I'll keep it straight in my mind so guess will be equal to an integer input And then we'll tell the user to guess a number between 1 and 100. All right, so that's how we'll get the information. Uh, once we have that information from the user, then we can go into our while loop. So I'm going to say while guess. Really struggling with the typing today. While guess. is not equal to number six. Up here I need to close that out too. Sorry about that. Okay, well guess is not equal to number. Then I'm gonna hit enter and I'm gonna come up with the two different options. Um, that could happen. So I'm going to say if guess is less than number okay and then I'm going to say print your guess was too low and then underneath that I'm going to put another guess integer input and then I'm going to say guess again and then the other thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to say guesses is equal to guesses plus one so that way it'll count every time I'm less than and it'll add it to my number of guesses since I wanted to keep track of that. So that looks good. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is use a elif statement here. So I'm just adding another if. So I'm going to say if this time if guess is greater than number then we're going to say print your guess was too high and then we'll kind of repeat that code from above so I'll say now guess is equal to integer input 
guess again. Last thing I'll put under that statement, guesses is equal to guesses plus one. So there's our while loop. We have two if statements that are up underneath that. And now we need to close out our program. So we could say print congratulations, you guessed the number. And then we can also say print it only took you put a comma here and I'll say guesses guesses and you know what else I might do here just put a blank line before that to kind of separate stuff out okay so we will try this thing out I'm gonna hit play here and up in the little interpreter down here it says guess the number between 1 and 100 so let's start here type in 1 your guess was too low guess again 10 your guess is too low just to see we'll type in 100 your guess was too high So you can kind of see how uh, this is starting to work with this. So we can go 85. What did it say for 90? I wasn't really reading it. 90 was too low. All right, so we'll say 91, 92, 93. All right, crazy. So it says, congratulations, you guessed the number. It only took you 15 guesses. And if I count back through this, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, my top one. And since my first guess um, is already on there that's why I set guesses is equal to one instead of zero to start off with so if I wanted to I could have put I could have tagged that in with the first guess but that worked the best so there's our little uh, Python program and again just using the random and randint module from that library and we have a nice while loop with some if statements in there so give it a try make changes that you want to it, see how you can improve it and post those on the page. We'll talk to you later.